What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about subscription boxes. Now, a few years ago, the subscription box model didn't even exist. These days though, there's a subscription for pretty much everything, even stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, honestly, if you told me there was like a laptop subscription box or like a, a car subscription, I wouldn't be surprised. And I get it, companies like this model, it's predictable recurring revenue. And actually there's a video over on the Cavalier that kind of explains why this business model is so attractive. So I recommend checking that out. This video is just my honest opinion about subscription boxes, specifically for menswear and accessories and fashion. Cause I, I get it that subscription boxes for other stuff like food, even like grooming products, you know, consumable stuff, that kind of makes sense. But when I see subscriptions for, you know, shoes and clothes and watches and stuff, that's a little different. So I just wanna share my honest, truthful opinion about this model uh, in this video. Now I thought this video would be kind of boring if it was just me talking to the camera. So uh, I'm gonna open up a subscription box. This one is from Gentleman's Box. Um, and this is not sponsored or anything. I just, I met these guys at a conference. They sent me one of their boxes and it's been sitting in my studio for a couple of months. So I figured since we're talking about it, why not open one up? It's kind of cool. So here is my bottom line opinion about subscription boxes for men. I don't really like them. And what I mean by that is it's not how I choose to spend my money. The thing is, I'm really picky about what I wear and what I buy and what I own, the things I keep in my home, my office, and subscription boxes uh, don't lead to intentional buying. And I like to buy things with intention. All right, so this is like a uh, little wooden bottle opener. It's kind of cool. Got here, original grain. I used to have one of their watches actually. A bracelet. So I guess there's like a wooden theme in this box. MSRP $49, which seems a little high to me. See, in my opinion, subscription boxes lead to excess. It leads to owning things that you don't need and that you might not even want. And you know, I'm no minimalist, but I do try to keep the things I own. Uh, to a minimum and that I don't like to own things that just gather dust, you know? I like to use everything that I own. And when I buy something, I like to really think, do I need this? Do I really want this? And of course, can I afford this? But I get it. It's fun to open up boxes. It's kind of like having Christmas once a month instead of once a year. Wooden. Sunglasses. It's a little, a little too big for my face. <laughs> and, you know, and this is a perfect example of like another reason why I don't love subscription boxes, uh, specifically for men's fashion accessories. I'm not a one size fits all guy. And so I get a pair of sunglasses like these, even if I like the style, they're way too big for my face. And that's the case with socks, ties, sunglasses, bracelets a lot of the stuff that comes in these subscription boxes for men. And so for me, you know, these are either gonna sit in a drawer or I'm gonna give them away or get rid of them, but I can't wear these. And that's my problem with subscription boxes is they lead to me owning stuff that I don't really want. I would rather have a wardrobe and uh, an accessories collection full of stuff that I've really thought about and purchased in a thoughtful, intentional way. Bluetooth speaker. I guess this is wooden, yep. <laughs> Definitely plastic wood, but yeah, kind of cool, right? And you know, and, and I get it, it's fun, but I don't really need a Bluetooth speaker. I already have one, you know? And I, I probably wouldn't have bought this for myself because um, I don't really need another speaker. So is it cool? Yeah, kind of. Is it fun to open? Yes. 
Do I need it? No. Would I have bought it for myself? Definitely not. Just a little magazine that tells you a little bit about the stuff that you got. Bluetooth speaker. Jiro gift card. Well, there you go. If anybody wants a $50 gift card to Vincero or Vincero, however you say it, there it is. There's another one. I'll put this stuff down in the description, so don't worry about pausing the video or anything. Got a couple more things in here. Now listen, I get the subscription model for certain things, like especially stuff that goes bad. Like, for example, would I subscribe to a toilet paper subscription? Yes. Toothpaste? Probably. Socks? Maybe. Shoes? Watches? No, I would not. <laughs> you know, if I'm gonna own a pair of shoes, I want it to last for years, you know? And I don't wanna own a million pairs of shoes. So to me, a monthly shoe delivery subscription, that doesn't make any sense. In fact, the longer something lasts, the less sense the subscription model makes, in my opinion. <laughs> Dead Soxy, heard of this brand. I actually get a lot of emails, PR emails from this brand. So it's a medium, men's eight to 12. I wear a size seven. This might fit, but it's probably gonna be a little too big for my foot. Um, and these are no-show socks. It'll probably slip off my foot while I walk. Again, this is the problem with subscription boxes. If I were to buy a pair of socks from this brand, I would get a small size, not a medium size. And subscription boxes can't do that. They can't customize your preferences, like the size of your feet. You know, that is an inherent flaw with this model. All right, we got one more thing, kind of a big box. Let's see, Tech Dop Kit. We'll open this up in a second, but I wanna make one more point. I don't know how it was 50 years ago, you know, but it seems to me like we live in an age where there is more stuff available to buy and there's more ways for companies to advertise and to market to us than ever before. Plus, with global manufacturing and shipping, stuff is cheaper than it's ever been. Shipping is faster, returns are free. And all of this means that it's very, very easy to get swept up in consumerism. It's very easy to start feeling like you need to buy more stuff right now. And this is what the magazines tell us. You know, this is what the Instagram ads tell us. You might feel like buying stuff will make you happier, but it won't. Research and anecdotal evidence tells us that more stuff will not make us feel better. Buying more stuff and owning more things will not make you happier. But in the age of Amazon Prime and subscription boxes for every category, it's easy to feel the pressure to keep buying stuff and keep spending your money on stuff that you don't really want and you don't really need. Let's open this last little box up. Rook and Co. Tech Dop Kit. Almost thought that was my name for a second. <laughs> so this is a Dop Kit. Actually a pretty nice shape. Feels like probably bonded, bonded leather or genuine leather. And you know, again, yeah, it's, it's a nice Dop Kit, but I already have a Dop Kit, you know? I, I already have a Dop Kit that I love and that I use all the time. And, to be honest, I don't need more than one dop kit. So, you know, this is not something that I would buy for myself, even though it was kind of fun to unbox and open up. I think these days to be uh, not a consumer, you know, to be anti-consumer is an uphill battle, but I think it's a worthwhile goal. And I think to do that anytime before you buy something, whether it's a pair of shoes or a car or a watch or a subscription box or anything else, ask yourself three things. One, do I need it? Two. Do I really, really want it? And three, can I afford it? And in my opinion, 99% of subscription boxes won't hold up to those three questions. And for that reason, I'm personally not a fan of them, especially when it comes to men's fashion. Again, remember, this is just my opinion. You should spend your money in a way uh, that makes you happy in a way that you want to spend your money. You know, for me, this stuff, 
is not gonna make my life better. It's not gonna make me happier. But I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about subscription boxes? Are you a fan? Are you a customer of any? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I I'd really love to hear your opinion. Thank you as always for watching. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, stay stylish. Hey,